going to take a look at the Clinical Reformer. The Clinical Reformer was designed exactly as it sounds with a clinician in mind. There's many different adjustments on here and the different accessories designed for use with special populations and clients with special needs. Starting up at this end, there are the risers. You'll notice that these risers are metal, while the studio reformer risers are wood. There's a different way to adjust these. Instead of a little knob that screws in and out, you simply remove this pin, lower the riser as far as you like, and then replace the pin, creating a nice secure attachment for the pulleys and the risers. Now, if you have a tower where you're going to be removing these, or you have one of our machines that is a combination unit, then you'll simply remove the pin and the entire riser will come out, right? So there are the risers. Otherwise, they're exactly the same in terms of the ropes and the pulley adjustments, but there are some additional accessories that go on the ropes. Here, for example, we have what's called a double padded loop which allows you to use two different lengths without having to change your strap. It's very convenient, especially for group classes or in situations where you don't want to make a lot of adjustments and want to really focus on the flow of the exercises. In addition to that, we have handles, just like you do on the studio reformer, and you also have ankle and thigh cuffs. And these are very nice for putting around, let's say a client has um, a cast on their ankle. You may want to put this around and to do that, you simply wrap it around, slide the end through so that the Velcro is matching, and then continue in the same direction to create a nice secure attachment point to a wrist, an ankle, wherever else you need it. The thigh cuffs are simply a larger version of the same. Very nice when you want a decrease the length of the lever of the leg, and you can use it up usually around the thigh instead of around the lower leg. Now, in addition to that, there are several more features here. And let's come up now to the spring bar end, or the spring bar, and look at how this works differently on the clinical machine. Here what we have is very different than what we had on the studio reformer. That was a no-roll spring bar. This is the Revo spring bar. And if you'll notice, to move this, all I have to do is pull these handles up, slide the whole thing back, and then lower those down. But notice what just happened there. I didn't just change the spring position, I changed the entire position of the carriage relative to the foot bar. So this machine is very nice if you want to adjust for somebody who's taller, I'll move it away, or somebody who's shorter, I'll move it closer to the foot bar. If on the other hand, you simply want to change the resistance on the springs and create a preloaded position, all I do is take my springs and move them from the hook to the button and that will create a preloaded position just like we did with the no-roll spring bar by moving the whole spring bar forward. So there is our Revo spring bar. In addition to these extra accessories that we have, more adjustability with the springs and the spring bar and the Revo uh, foot bar spring bar, we now also have one other thing. You may notice a hole here in the standing platform. This is pre-drilled for what's called a proprioception T-bar. We also have this pre-drilled to take a tower should you want to add a tower at any time to your clinical reformer. Now there are two additional accessories that do come with this. I'm gonna move this out of the way for the first one. And the first one is called the oversized standing platform. Now this is a lovely standing platform, but it's not that wide. So if, for example, you're working with a dancer and you want to do turnout, or even working with some forward lunges where you want to have the foot more supported, you want a wider standing surface. That's what our oversized standing platform is for. You'll also notice here that this is asymmetrical. The fin, if you will, is on one side. This goes into this bracket in the front of the machine, just like this. It just slides into that bracket, and then that allows you a much wider surface to stand on. To tighten that down, we're gonna move this out of the way, there's two knobs here, and again, I would just tighten those knobs down, and that will tighten up the bracket that goes around the base of the standing platform, making it nice and stable. So there's our oversized standing platform. Now the last thing I will show you is the padded foot plate, also known as the jump board. So here we have the jump board. Here's the back of it. It will attach to the reformer like so. It slides into the bracket. 
I didn't loosen that one up quite enough. There we go. But you'll notice there's no support in the back of the jump board. So from here, what I want to do is I'm going to bring my foot bar up into just the right position to hold that in place. Now, the position of this is very important. You want to have your infinity foot bar, and we'll discuss this in just a moment, in the fourth hole from the foot bar end. And you can tell you're there because there's one hole showing at the front side of the bracket. From there, you then want to lift up your foot bar so that it's in the fourth hole from the bottom. So it's the fourth hole from the end and the fourth hole from the bottom of your bracket. And that will give you nice security and a good solid surface to jump on when you're using your padded foot plate. All right, last but not least, we have to look at the infinity foot bar, which is really why we're here. So let me take this out here. And we'll look at how the infinity foot bar works. The infinity foot bar is called that because it will go all the way to the end of the unit and all the way back. So you really have full range of motion in terms of where you want to put the foot bar for hands, feet, and other body parts. It really provides pull from different directions and lots of really great versatility that Tom will show you shortly. The first thing we have here, this is very similar also to um, our Allegro, one of our Allegros, is that you have several vertical adjustments on the foot bar. Here we have what we call the vertical adjustment because it's literally straight up and down. This is the fifth hole on the bracket. This is our bracket. You have four, which would be a high position. You've got a low position. You've got an extra low position. And you have essentially an out of the way position or a no foot bar position. Okay, so you just simply squeeze these levers and then move your foot bar to where you want it to go. Release the pin into the hole to have it where you need it. Very easy to adjust. Now that's a normal foot bar function to have those different options. But we also have with the infinity this ability to slide it up and down the frame. We have these lovely knobs here which pull out and you'll see there's a little X on there. And you pull the knob out and you twist it so it stays held out. Okay, so you pull it out and then there's these little pins that will hold it out. Then from there, I simply take it and I slide it to one end or I slide it back to the middle. And as I do that and I find the place I want it to be, I release my pins. So I just move them so they're going to slide into a hole and then I gently slide my foot bar until it clicks into place. And then at that point, I can adjust where my foot bar goes. So the infinity, this version of it is very easy to use, very simple and really nice. You just unpull out the pins, rotate them so that they're locked out, and then slide the foot bar where you want it to go. Twist the pins so they go into their slots again, and then gently slide the foot bar into place. There is our Infinity foot bar on the clinical with all of its features. 